incredibly powerful way to add efficiency and speed to your DEW workflow is to use VCAs. VCA master faders appeared in Pro Tools HD software in version 7.2, and in version 12.2, they were added to Pro Tools standard software. The VCA workflow, in conjunction with Yukon-based control surface layouts and the VCA spill function, will give you quick access to every channel of your mix, minimizing seek time and giving you back time for more creativity. This is how music, TV, and feature film mixers are able to control increasingly huge track counts with relatively small control surfaces. A VCA is simply a Pro Tools Group master fader. When you fade, solo, or mute the VCA fader, the members of the group follow suit. If you're still using aux channels to balance the instrument or food groups of your mixes, this workflow will save you time and simplify your work. In this video, I'll be using a Pro Tools S3 in a dock and the Pro Tools Control app on the iPad. This workflow works equally as well on the artist mix with the dock, and we'll see both as we go. To create a VCA fader, just use the new track command, either from the menu, keyboard, or the Pro Tools Control app soft keys. Create eight, 10, or however many VCA faders you need, depending on how many groups you have. You can always delete any unused VCAs, and they don't use any voices. If you already have groups set up, edit the groups and just assign a VCA fader to each group. Adding a lowercase v as a prefix to the VCA fader name helps in differentiating them from other faders. So here we have V drums, V percussion, V bass, etc. If you already have the VCAs named, you can use the batch track rename function to speed and simplify the renaming process. Once VCAs are assigned, you can mute or solo the group with the VCA and write level automation without destroying any group member's underlying automation moves. The simplicity of VCA workflow is you can control all your tracks with just a few VCA faders. Using a control surface becomes a giant advantage to navigating and wrangling your sessions, no matter how small or how large. You can control the level of the drums group with one fader, mute or solo the group with a single key press. I can also spill the VCA group members to the surface by either double tapping the VCA faders select key on the S3 or by enabling the auto spill VCA from control app attention and just touch the VCA track on the iPad. This technique allows VCA spill on both the S3 and the artist mix surfaces. Touching the VCA track block again folds the group back up into the VCA fader once more. This way, you can be fading the drum kit out in the vamp of the song and still bump up a snare fill during the fade. The group members remain independent of each other when controlled by a VCA master. The layouts feature of Yukon-based surfaces allows creating and saving different track orders and combinations up to 48 unique layouts, all saved with the Pro Tools session file. For more on layouts, see the S3 Quick Tips video on layouts. You can recall up to 12 layouts from the surface of the S3 using the layout soft keys, or when using the control app, you can easily access all 48 layouts and see the custom names you've assigned as well. So here's a music session with over 115 tracks. All the instrument groups are set, even the effects returns is in a group, each with its own VCA. So every single track feeding the mix is controlled by one VCA or another. A custom layout of only the VCA master faders is stored in slot number two, and it can either be recalled from the S3 surface with the B key or by touching the layout soft key on the iPad, aptly named VCA Masters. Hint, as a good habit, if you leave the first layout slot empty, you can always go back to the original track order on the surface very quickly. If you're tweaking something or just checking out the balance, to get to the lead vocal in two key presses, all you have to do is spill the lead vocal VCA group, then go to the lead vocal fader. I know, I know, you're saying that's only one key press. But let's say I'm working somewhere else in the session on a percussion loop and hear something wonky with the vocal. I can jump to the VCA master's layout, first key press, then spill the lead vocal group onto the faders, second key press, and address the issue quickly. One touch of the percussion VCA block on the iPad gets me right back to where I was. You could also create a Pro Tools group that contained all the instrument VCAs controlled by a single VCA and use this to balance the music track against the lead and background vocal VCAs. Creativity should be your limiting factor, not the software or the hardware. A subtle but extremely powerful feature in the control app is the ability to filter what tracks are displayed on the app by type, including VCA masters. You can also recall layouts from this area on the control app as well. You can display just the VCA masters on the iPad, 
independently of what channels you have on the surface or visible on the DAW. This way, you can attention any VCA master and instantly spill the group members to the surface in one move. So with VCA tracks only displayed, you can actually bring any channel to you on the surface in a single key press. Of course, if there are more group members spilled than you have faders, you can always nudge or bank the surface to access those other channels. Speed, with control and consistency, connects your creative flow to your mixes and allows you to bring your ideas to life quicker and with absolute accuracy. The conduit to connecting your creativity in your session is a professional tool set. With Yukon Enable Control Surface and the VCA workflow, you can wrangle any size session, access any track in milliseconds, and allow your creative ideas to materialize faster and more consistently than ever before. Make sure to see all the videos in the professional line of Pro Tools surfaces and software.